Okay, there's like this war going on against like all these aliens who have like come to like take over Earth and nobody knows why they're here. They're just here to take over Earth. Pretty simple. Like sci-fi 101. So Tom Cruise is just like this guy who basically promotes the war and he's telling everybody, we're going to win this war. And he's like a lieutenant, but he's in the military and he's never fought in a battle. He's just like some dude who promotes the war. And that's like his whole job. He used to be like an ad representative or whatever. And everybody's like, yeah, sure. We're going to win the war. Thanks, Tom Cruise. So he goes up to like this general guy and the, and the general's like, you've been doing a good job promoting this war. And then he's like, yeah, cool. And the general's like, you're going to fight on that front tomorrow, right? And he's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm Tom Cruise. I'm too pretty to fight in a war. And the guy's just like, yeah, you're fighting in the war. And he's like, no, I'm not. So he wakes up the next day at the military base and he's like, okay, I, I, I'm not supposed to be here, blah, blah, blah. And he, and the guy's like, yeah, you're supposed to be here. So he goes and he fights and he gets put in like this group of people who are like, oh, they're like the rejects. It's like, hey, I'm the fat guy. And the other guy, and there's like a girl who's like, hey, I'm Australian. And then there's another guy who's like, Hey, I'm not really your friend, but I'm cool and fun to be around. So somehow I got put in this stupid unit. All right, so they go fight and everybody dies. Everybody dies. Everybody gets killed. The aliens knew they were coming, but Tom Cruise dies and gets like the blood of this thing on him. It's called an alpha and it's like this weird blue blood stuff and it gets all over him and he's like, okay. So the next day he wakes up and he's just like, what? It's the same day. This is crazy. You know, Groundhog Day stuff. And he goes, hey, everybody, I know what's going to happen. It's not what you think. I'm trying to save your lives. And nobody believes him. He does that like 10 times and he keeps memorizing everything that happens. And he's like, this is about to happen. You got to uh, change it. And everybody's like, okay, no, you're crazy. And no matter what, they don't believe him. So then he finds like this super badass chick that was in like the last war. And she killed like a hundred of these things and like saved everybody. And he saves her on the battlefield like a bunch of times. And she's just like, find me when you wake up. And he's just like, what? And then they die. And then he wakes up. Okay. He goes and finds her. And he's like, Hey, uh, you told me to find you when you woke up. And she's like, come with me. And they find this like scientist guy and he's like, I know what's happening. This is talk about like, oh, this is what you need to do and blah, blah, blah. And there's like this big thing you need to find when you get, when it gets closer to finding you, you'll find it. And it's, I, I don't understand. At that point, it's just like sci-fi nonsense. I just kind of zoned out. I was like sitting in the seat and I was just like, okay, can we like shoot something? Then they get the thing, like they find out where the thing is. It's at this dam in Germany. And they're just like, hey, we're going to go to the dam and we're going to find the thing. But the lady never makes it. It's just Tom Cruise keeps making it every time or she makes it and he doesn't make it. And they're just like, there's no way we can do this. And they start getting like emotionally attached. And then she's just like, just go. And then Tom Cruise is like, fine. And he goes to the dam. But then Omega's not there. It's just like, oh, okay. So they lied to me and they tricked me and they made me think it was here. And then the thing, other alphas comes out and he's like, I'm not going to try to kill you. I'm going to try to drain all your blood out because when you lose the blood that got splattered on your face, you're going to lose all the power to switch the day back, which is sci-fi stupid nonsense. I was just like, okay, whatever. It's a movie. And then no. And then he drowns to death and he comes back and he's like, it wasn't there. So then they try to figure it out again and they keep training him and they keep trying to win the war. And then eventually Tom Cruise like runs away. And he's, that doesn't work because they attack London or whatever. So then he goes like, okay, well, I'm just going to freaking figure out where the thing is anyway. And they figure out it's like at the, some museum in Paris and they go to Paris and you remember those guys from before that were like the rejects or whatever? Yeah, he brings those guys and they go to Paris and they like a bunch of them die. But then Tom Cruise gets to the thing and the lady's like, you got to do this. And he's like, got a bunch of grenades. And then he like go and like the lady's like, I'm going to distract the alpha that's there because there's obviously a freaking like bunch of aliens defending the thing. So she distracts the thing and Tom Cruise like runs into the thing and he's like, okay. I, I'm gonna blow up this thing and the thing comes back the alpha and he like stabs him in the heart and he dies But then the thing explodes and the blood mixes from the alpha and the omega And you just have to sit there and pretend like it's not some kind of reference to religion He's dead basically he's floating in the water and he's dead and you're like, oh, well, that's he made a noble sacrifice He killed himself for the bettering of the entire world and all the aliens like die and the war is over but no, that, that'd be too easy. And then Tom Cruise comes back to life at the very beginning of the freaking movie when he's like flying to the general's place in the helicopter and he's just like, oh, the war's over. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And then he goes and he finds the lady, the big badass lady from the war that he'd been working with the whole time. And she walks up to him and she's just like, what do you want or whatever? And then he's just like, <laughs> then the movie's over. And you're just like, so nothing happened basically. And that was Edge of Tomorrow starring Tom Cruise British lady, a bunch of jerks, aliens, and angry Irish general.